It's Sunday the 2nd of uh, April and uh, a very good morning to you <coughs> and uh, there's a little course this morning that I'm sure whenever you hear it perhaps it'll take you back to your Sunday school day and the little course says Jesus loves me this I know for the Bible tells me so little ones to him belong they are weak but he is strong yes Jesus loves me the Bible tells me so and what brought this to my mind was last Sunday evening uh, my brother John uh, he gave out uh, a hymn uh, at the end of the our service after John had finished preaching uh, and it goes to the same tune as uh, the little chorus that I've just mentioned and the hymn was written by Albert Midlain who had, has written over 700 hymns uh, in our hymn books and the this was one of his uh, Jesus dying on the tree means eternal life to me means that grace or sin had sway means that love hath had its uh, sway yes Jesus loves me he died upon the tree but it's verse 3 that has stayed with me throughout the week listen to the simplicity of it Jesus dying on the tree means the sentence passed on me has descended on his head and that he has died instead what the verse is saying that my sin demands punishment Romans 6 and 23 reminds us this that the wages of sin is death and uh, uh, I should have paid the penalty and I should be punished because of my sin but instead Jesus who was willing as 1 Peter 2 and 24 reminds us who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree to take my place and become my substitute pay the penalty and receive the punishment and he paid the price when he shed his life's blood and that was to put away our sin and that's you know God's only way and means of providing a way back to heaven from the dark paths of sin a door that is open and all may go on a Calvary's cross is where you begin when you come as a sinner to Jesus and he loved you so much that he gave his son Romans 8 and 32 tells us he had spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all and that is why he was obedient unto death even the death of a cross to be nailed by the hands and feet and to suffer in your place and mine dear friend if you're not saved how can you reject so great salvation remember Hebrews 2 and 3 tells us how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation I pray today dear friend that you will accept him as your saviour know your sins forgiven and know heaven as your eternal home good morning